What's normal for a hockey player to feel during warm-ups on opening night? Uh, a little bit of maybe anxiety, anticipation about just getting in a rhythm and getting the ball rolling. And once you get your first shift and the first couple of games under your belt, you, you're just fine. When it comes to a shootout, at what point should a hockey player know the move that they're going to do? I think that's really different for every player. Um, some guys have that one move that they try to pull off all the time, but there's so much pre-scouting done now with the goalies too that they probably should have uh, maybe at least two things in your repertoire if you, if you tend to be a guy that goes all the time. What's something you might already know about Connor Bedard? Pretty good hockey player. Yeah. <laughs> is it is it a fascinating like story? I mean, he's been so highly touted and he's yeah. in Chicago. There's a lot going on. There. I think that um, you know it's, it's a much different um, path to the NHL that I that I had, for example. So I can't uh, I can't imagine you know how he deals with the pressure. I think every player does it in a little different way, but. Um, you know, I think it's good for the league to have these kind of players, these highly anticipated stars. Uh, I think we need that in our sport. All right, you're going to go on a five-game, like, two-week road trip out east at the very beginning of this season in the schedule. What's a, what's a pro travel tip? What's something you, you will do to survive that trip well? Um, if it's a long trip, like a 10, 11-day trip, just uh, usually bring a, a good book in my Nintendo Switch, and it usually gets me through the through a couple of ga games or days that were on the road. What, what, what do you play on the Switch? Uh, MLB The Show. Oh, you're a uh, baseball guy? Yeah, just started getting into it last year. Really? Uh, what, what team do you play as? Twins. Oh, uh, all right, all right. I like it. We'll talk more about that later. Yeah. Uh, uh, what, are the, what are the ingredients of a, of a great pregame or intermission speech, whether it's a player or a coach doing it? Maybe you've given one of these, a few of these speeches before, but... What, what do guys want to hear in the room when, I think, they, when they get talked to? Uh, important about a, a speech anytime is that it's supposed to be authentic. I think if guys or people in general can usually see if it's kind of staged or faked. So I think that's for me, that's the biggest part is uh, to, to just be authentic and be yourself and don't have to try to enforce a speech uh, if you're not that kind of guy. Um, so I think that's the biggest part. I just saw Joe Thornton in the hallway and I know Patty's... Uh, around here permanently this yeah. year. What does it mean for a franchise like the Sharks to have two players like that come back and still want to be a part of this this team? I think it goes to show, um, I think that's just always a good sign about any organization is that um, there's a lot of, usually means that there's a lot of good people that are involved because uh, that, you know, that's usually what keeps people coming back is the culture. Um, people feel comfortable around here. Um, they want to come to work every day, um, and that's always a good sign of an organization, whether it be in sports or any other place, really. Do you know what GQ magazine is? Uh, I've heard of it, yeah. Okay, you, you uh, get the idea. Well, yeah. Okay. Uh, so it's about style and looks and you know charisma. If one shark player has to be on the cover of that magazine, who is the cover boy? Mario Ferraro. <laughs> Looks, gotta, per gotta, personality, gotta, definitely not looks, right? Good smile. Oh, good smile. Yeah. <laughs> Minus a few yeah. um, Your stick. Yeah. It's important to every player to get it right, to get it precise. Give me the nuts and bolts of, of what you need out of a hockey stick. Like, what's the brand, the curve, how do you do the knob, the tape, the flex? What are the, what are the details of your stick? I'm playing the CCM Jet Speed right now. Um, really important for me is the right grip. I'm using these, uh, it's more of a, a, a tennis racket kind of grip. It's mm -hmm. called lizard skin that I wrap around the top. Um, that uh, in combination with my gloves need to be just the right amount of worn in. If they're too new or too loose, I don't like it. So I change those quite often. Uh, flex? Uh, 95. All right. And the blade pattern, is it something you've always had? Uh, yeah, it's like a P28 or whatever it's called, yeah. All right. Standard play, standard pattern, nothing that's like uh, specialized to me. Got it. What's the favorite hockey accomplishment of your career so far? Uh, Stanley Cup and silver medal with Germany last summer. It's hard to top the Stanley Cup. Right. right. <laughs> it's, it's, it's very different. Two, yeah. two very different accomplishments. Well, and you're, you're a guy in the room that has been part of that, that not a lot of guys have that. 
Right. That's, uh, a, that's, a, that's something unique, right? That's something unique and um, something that you know gives you uh, you know comfort and something you can look back at during times that are not so good. There's a lot of ups and downs during the season, um, and it just gives you um, some patience during the times when things are maybe a little bit tougher, and uh, certainly also gives you a little bit of standing in in the league and on your team when things know or people know that uh, you know you've gone all that way and, and and done it. It's a very special feeling. Are you a Halloween guy? No. Okay. So, have you ever dressed up? Uh, yes. What's the best costume you've ever had? Best costume? Wow. Well, we I have no idea, honestly. You're not a Halloween no, guy, I'm obviously. Come not. on! That's probably my, my, my least favorite. Uh, ha- I, wouldn't, I, I wouldn't even call it a holiday. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> wow! So, day in the calendar for me. Nico Sturm hates, hates Halloween. All right, we now know. Uh, last one here. Um, what can the Sharks show or prove to people this season? Sorry, say that again. Uh, just what can the Sharks show people or oh. prove to people this season as a team? I think uh, as a team, as an organization, I'd like to see us uh, take the next step. Um, you know, we all know we're in a rebuild, um, but we want to get back to playing winning hockey. Uh, that doesn't come overnight. Um, so for me, I want to be uh, pushing towards the playoffs again and playing in these meaningful full games in you know March and hopefully April. Um, and I'd like to show our fans that uh, we can move in that direction again.